Right, I'm at Gleven Shooting Club today with my mate Phil, also on the Hunting Live Forum, uh, and he's using an Air Arms Pro Sport in 177 calibre. He's been using Air Arms field pellets to good effects, but today, because we're on the 50 metre range, uh, we decided we were going to try some different pellets. And Phil's just tried some RWS Super Field at 5. Point, sorry, 4.5 millimetre. Uh, this is a group he's just shot here at 25 metres. It's a laser 25 metres. I'll just bring it forward. Uh, when he's zeroing. He's not actually zeroed his scope yet. His point of aim is on this pellet mark there and that is three shots there from RWS Superfield going through the same hole from an Air Arms Pro Sport which has been fettled by a guy called Timothy off the Hunting Life Forum as well. So you can see a bit of pellet testing and a bit of fettling that rifle which is a spring piston rifle shoots as accurate as a PCP. So well done there mate you've got to be happy yeah, with that. Yeah nice one cheers buddy. Yeah, we're going to put some targets out now at 50 metres uh, and we'll see how we can get on. We've been doing a bit of calibration work. We've been using HW100, BSA Ultra, an HW98 and obviously Phil's Pro Sport. But what I can say, and I mean this now 100%, the Sandwell Field Sports HW98 and the Fettle Pro Sport is shooting as accurate as the HW100 and the Ultra SE. Would you agree? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. there's no difference. So people who think spring piston rifles are not as accurate as a... Uh, PCP, as long as you shoot that PCP correct, you can get these sort of results. And hopefully, we're going to be able to show you this by hitting some targets at 50 meters. For those wanting to know how Phil managed to get that three shot one hole group, and he's basically we're on a rest and then he's resting on a sandbag. It's just bench rested off a sandbag. amazing isn't it for what a bit of pellet testing can do I mean there's people say that air arms and RWS are the same but obviously we've noticed there's a difference in uh, elevation and obviously accuracy is massively different isn't it especially at the further ranges there's a, a massive difference between the two the uh, RWS super field were a lot tighter as well weren't they at 50 meters yeah under a five pence piece five shots mm-hmm You can find adjust the zero on this 98. I've only got a few falcons left. Yeah, I just want to get this zero in. The same hole again. Fuck. Look at Yeah, did you get it in the hole again? Same one. Yeah, I've just done the same as well. Yep. Oh, that's three shots in that hole, mate. Put my target. That's nice. That's nice stuff. I'll film it as well. Yeah. Right. I'm going to come out of that. Right, we've set up some targets now and Phil's going to be shooting with his Pro Sport. And I'll just zoom in uh, and we'll go for these first. You can see there's a blue bottle top on the left and a, and a lighter one on the right. Whichever one you want to go for. Great shot. Nice. The other one. I'll leave the uh, camera alive, see if you can get the left hand one, which is the smaller one. I don't know what it is with that one, the one at the back there. Ah, oh, cracking. There you go, chaps. Keep this live. Just pan around. No trickery. Phil, <laughs> with his pro sport. Look at the accuracy he's getting out of that. Oh, it's 
two pellets straight through the same hole. But 50 metres? Yeah. Mm, there you go. Two and a half. Oh, that's it. Look at that. I'm aiming for the top of your card on the left hand side. Because of that, that's the point of aim, just the top of your card, and it's two right next to each other. Just going to get some more falcon pellets out of that. I reckon I could probably get them if this shot goes all right. I'll probably get a, a group here under five pence piece at 50 meters. This is a different tin of pellets. I'm hoping there's no difference in batch. Well, that's be interesting. Oh, mate. Through the same hole as the last one. Really? Yeah, I recorded it as well. That's uh, have a look for your scope. That's three shots there, two through the same hole, one just off, under a five pence piece. Bloody hell. Oh. With the Sandwell Field Sports Tune That's HW98. On, you can't bumble at that, can you? Smack on that. Uh, calibration wise, on times ten, that is. Yeah, that's two and a half mil dots. There you go, 50 metres. You can see it's now filled in, Phil signed it. Uh, we haven't got a 5 pence piece, but I know 5 pence is 18 millimetres. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do this edge to edge, so it's the furthest distance between this group. Which is, hopefully, I'll check on the camera viewfinder. Just let me uh, zoom in a little bit. You can see it's 11.7 millimeters, so well under a five pence piece, and that's at 50 meters with a spring piston rifle. That's better than I did with my PCPs, mate. <laughs> it's incredible, <laughs> and that's the sort of accuracy you can get with. Uh, Rifles tuned by Tony Wall. This is Phil now trying this bottle top, what we placed on top of this spinner. Oh, good shot, mate. Good shot, there you go, I'll just zoom out, you can see, 50 metres there, no pro sport, well done mate. Right, just going to zoom in and have a shot myself now. See the bottle top there, it's 46, Phil just lazed it. That. So, we'll probably give it. About two and a quarter mil dots. Nice <laughs> shot. Yeah, two and a quarter. Nailed it. The 98. No competition for it, is there really? It's going to zoom in, and you'll see there's a spinner there. And on top is actually a bottle top and it just shows you how small the spinner is because the bottle top's covering the spinner. How close we can get to the 98. I said it was. Did I say two and a half? Yeah, two and a half. There you go, first shot with the 98.